Oh, good morning, you precious people. On this morning, I'm taking you into the Word of God in the book of Isaiah chapter 41. And on this morning, this is what I'm sharing with you. God will help you. You need to understand you are not out there by yourself. God loves you. He cares about you. He's got a plan. You are coming out of this more than a conqueror. God will help you. Listen, this entire week I'm focusing on this one topic. God will help you. Father, as we're about to go into the word on this morning, minister to your people. Encourage them. Strengthen them. Lift up their spirits, God. Give them the victory. Give them the victory, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them a breakthrough as we go into the word on this morning. So listen to this. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41, verses 10 through 13. Listen to what the word says. Fear thou not. You don't have to be afraid. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help thee. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So the first thing God says in his opening is, Fear thou not. That means the people were afraid. That means you are afraid. Anytime God have to tell you fear not, that means you are wrestling with fear, intimidation. You are afraid it's not going to work out for you. Come on. You are afraid that prayer is not going to be answered. You are afraid you're not going to get the house. You are afraid you're not going to get the job. There is that fear. But the Holy Ghost wants to replace that fear with the confidence of God that everything's going to be all right. And then he tells you why you don't have to be afraid because he said, I am with thee, the great I am. Then he says, be not dismayed. The word dismayed means bewildered, to be perplexed, to be confused, to be unable to think clearly. And God is saying, don't be, don't be bewildered. Don't be perplexed. Don't be confused. Don't be unable to think clearly. He says, don't allow yourself to be there. Be not dismayed. Why? For I am thy God. Notice what he says. I will strengthen thee. Man, listen, you go through some things in life that weakens you, weakens your faith, makes you almost want to question the word of God, makes you want to question the promises of of God, but he gives us he gives us a firm promise here. He said, I will strengthen thee. If you are feeling weak on this morning, you need to know that God will strengthen you. Are you listening to me? The word strengthen right there means that God is going to cause you to be strong. He's going to cause you to be courageous. God is going to cause you to be brave because that's the kind of God we serve. Amen. So he says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. I love these eyes in here because this is God talking. It, it just doesn't get any better than this. You know, someone's looking for some personal prophecy. You don't even know the person. You don't even know if they're lying to you. Amen. But we are talking about the written word of God. You can stake your life on thus said the Lord. You know, Psalms chapter 33 verse 4 says, For the word of the Lord is right. Psalms chapter 119 verse 105. Thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God is sure. Are you listening to me? In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And without him not was not anything made that was made. And the word became flesh and dwelled among us. And we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. So you can stake your life on a thus said the Lord. So he says, I will strengthen you. 
Then he says, yes, I will help you. The word help right there means that God will support you. It means that God will protect you. It means that God will aid you in whatever it is you need him to help you in. It's the kind of God we serve. Then he says, yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. That word uphold means to sustain. That word uphold means to retain. God will retain you in the palm of his hands. He said, those that are in my father's hands, no man can pluck them out. You know, the book of Jude verse 20 says, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. You are in his hand. Your life is in his hands. Your children, your family, your business, your job, your ministry, your church, whatever it is pertaining to you, it is in his hands. And you need to know God will help you. Now watch this. Listen to what he says in verse 11. My God, I love the word. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee, all those that were angry and just ticked, off at you. The Bible says all they that were incensed just hot mad at you. All those that were angry against you, watch this, shall be ashamed and confounded. That word confound means to insult, to humiliate, to dishonor, to shame. God is going to humiliate and insult those that's coming against you. God will dishonor them and bring shame to them. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. My God, they shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. God will annihilate them. He will bring an end to them. Look at what God did with the Egyptians and Pharaoh when they were coming against the children of Israel. God drowned them in the midst of the Red Sea. God annihilated them. He wiped them out. Listen, there comes a time in your life when God will arise and cause your enemies to be scattered. I said, there comes a time when God will arise. God will arise and your enemies will be scattered by the power of the Holy Ghost. That's why he said, you don't have to fight for yourself. He says, vengeance is mine. I will repay. God's got your back. Listen to what he says in verse 11. Behold, all they that were incense against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even those who contended with you, those who are fighting against you, they that war against you shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. Listen to what he said in verse 13. For I the Lord, for I the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. God loves you, my friend. God is on your side. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I said I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. God wanted me to tell you this morning, that God will help you. I don't care what situation it is that you are facing. I don't care how difficult the trouble is that you are in right now. It may seem all the odds are stacked against you, but we serve an awesome God. He says, I will help you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? I cover you in the blood I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus on this morning. I pray for you right now that God would strengthen you in your spirit, in your soul, and in your body 
we serve a mighty God. I cover you in the blood of Jesus Christ. I bind every devil, every foul, an unclean spirit that have risen against you. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I pray God give you the victory, my friend. I pray that God would give you the victory. I pray that God would give you the victory. I pray that God would give you the victory in the name of Jesus. I pray that God would give you the victory. I pray that God would give you the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Listen, I want to give you a chance to sow a seed into the kingdom of God. I want to give you a chance to sow a seed into the kingdom of God. You can visit us online, seanpinder.net forward slash give and sow a seed into the ministry. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. Glory to God. If you prefer to mail in your donations, make your checks and your money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 117442, Carrollton, Texas 750 11-7442. Never forget that me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy Pinder, we love you. We care about you. And this entire week, we are focusing on God will help you. Look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow morning on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.